welcome back, how are you? This is a little jigsaw table I've made and if you watch the following video I'll show you how I did it. I did make a little mistake along the way with this brass insert and the bayonet fittings on these blades because to release these blades you have to turn and pull out. And I can't do that facility with this because it's only a thin slot. So to change the blades on this setup I have to unbolt or unscrew the jigsaw. Uh, what else is there? Oh yes, I'm having to use harsher blades than I really wanted to. These are for aluminium as the thin work steel blades are a lot shorter and they don't stick out the bed as far and reach the bones as I'd like. But apart from that, why don't I watch a bloody video? Mate. <sighs> Hello and welcome back. How are you? For a project I'm doing, I need the facility to cut a piece of brass um, a curved, a curved piece of brass for a bracket I'm making. So I've come up with the idea, I think it's been done before, of using a jigsaw as a kind of bandsaw by mounting the jigsaw upside down in a table and then pushing the workpiece through. That's the idea. I've found a few bits and bobs in the old skip like you do, so that'll form the top of the table. Uh, when the blade sticks through, I like to have a brass insert just as a bit of fancy. And uh, I did get this brass weight off the car boot for a pound, that's 40 millimetres. And I think if I pat that down, it'll make a lovely brass insert. So there you go, that's that. Uh, these are the blades I'm using, they're quite thin, the curved work. On each side of the blade, I'm going to mount a bowing to, to take away the lateral movement, hopefully, anywhere. I'll have a bow on each side. Um, to all the bowings, there will be an arm coming up the side of the table and across. And I found this old bit of, uh, looks like a bit of baby gate. And oh, there's a bit fine escapes. So that might be pressed into use yet, I don't know. We'll have to see. I could have a bow on each side of that. So what I'm going to do, further ado, I'm not going to yap all the way through the video. Uh, I'm just going to edit scenes of me doing bits and bobs. And you'll get a general gist of it. And then you'll see the finished thing at the end. Okay, so let's get on with it. <sighs> Many things. Put the button gone now. Yeah. Looks plenty, about two inches each side of clearance. The jigsaw. Two sides. Slight change of plan. Turns out the quality of wood you find in skips isn't what it used to be. So we'll scrap that. And we'll use a similar piece of wood. Which happened to have a, sp uh, a spare one. I did the sides in. i roughly find the position where I like the jigsaw to sit in the box. It's about there. So, yes. Skills, no drill for the brass insert with a 40mm bit. Oh, 
like that and just nearly fits in I'll turn that down on the lathe now he says talking with a pencil in his mouth ok ok we've got a little bit of work on the mill I've just got to finish off this slot in the end of the brass weight that will have the jigsaw blade sticking through it let's get on with it uh, it's a bit noisy milling machine there seems to be a bit of belt noise so I apologise for that Seems fine. Okay, I'll put it in the Colchester now. Just take a little skim off it so it fits in the hole of about a millimetre and I'll part it off. Then jobs are good. Then. Okay, I've now mounted the workpiece in the Colchester. The inverter's off and the lathe is out of gear. Safety first while I'm messing about. I've just treated the tool steel so I resharpen. So hopefully it'll cut good, not like a bad steward. I just need to set the height. Prior to watching a little video on YouTube, I used to drag the whole thing over to the tailstock centre. I've seen this little tip with this has been cut to that height over there. So you can now set your tools up straight off the top slide, which is really handy. So is that what I'm going to do now? It's going to a little bit, don't it? There you go. Great. I'll get on with that now. We'll get rid of all these spanners out of the way. We'll get on. I'm really spoiling you with this new camera, aren't I? Okay, I've just had a quick skim off it just to see how things were and the brass weight seems to have a bit of a ding in it. So we'll try and get that out now. Since I got rid of it, but it cuts just a little bit grainy. I think I have to do a little bit more work. I'm a tool steel. Never mind. Come with that, I never think mind. I've changed my mind about that brass. Maybe no lead in it, so it's not free cutting. So that's my excuse anyway. A little bit of parting now. Hey, look at that now. That's a Monty, that, isn't it? Right. Is that bit done? Okay. One brass insert for one jigsaw table. 
done. Just needs gluing in. To have it gluing, I've just glued and screwed some battens on the table and I'm working out how to fix the jigsaw to it. And it looks like I'm going to put some battens on, front and back, and screw them down, and that's all in place. And there, it's that kind of arrangement. So that's easy enough, isn't it? So I'll do that front and back, screw that on, put the sides on, I'll flip it over, and give you another butchers. <sighs> Nothing too fancy here with fitting the bearings, I'm just going to use the blade as a spacer. And so I'm just using automatic centre punch to find the centre of the burn hole. Done. I'll draw that now. Tap it. on yet, I just want to see if it works out with the blade. Yes. Look at that. I'm happy with that. I'll just put a washer in it and finish it up. And we'll look at mounting that. Bit rude that, innit? Hey hey! <sighs> After careful selection of matching bolts, not, we've got this effect which would be nothing more simple than a piece of button with a few notches in it to hold the support in place. Uh, some of the models I've seen it's held here with an arm but I'm not particularly bothered about that because um, the work area I need to do to put a fancy score pattern on this is around about there so I don't need anything special and the whole purpose is this is just for one job I need to do and I probably strike it down and take it apart we just made it a bit some an old skip anyway so it doesn't really matter so it's never going to be a precision million pound job you're on the wrong channel for that I'm afraid great I'll screw this down hopefully it'll work he says again nothing fancy obviously Right, so what we'll do now, we'll switch it on and hopefully this arm won't, won't try and disintegrate itself to pieces and it may, just may, be able to a test cut this old piece of brass just for fun. So let's turn it on and see how we get on. too bad. The potential's there. It seems to cut. A bit rough, but it doesn't matter. Whatever I'm going to do, I can finish off with a file. Yes, I said that was a success. So there you go. One jigsaw table. Job done. Thanks for viewing. Dr. Frost, over and out.